All right. Uh, let's move on to Will Fuller and the emergence of Kiki QT. There you go. Are you at all concerned uh, with uh, everyone likes Kiki right now? Are you concerned with Will Fuller kind of moving forward? Because, you know, we were really excited about Will Fuller going into the season because of what he did last year, not only on the big plays, but st- seeing uh, good volume yeah throughout his health and well, and me, uh, what's his, and watson's health i i i, I got to start with kiki first to to get to will fuller here because kiki's only got two career games his first game will fuller gets hurt in the first half and that game also goes to ha- overtime mm-hmm. and they basically go to the very end of overtime so kiki QT gets 15 targets and 10 catches and 100 yards in his very first game. Mm-hmm. And we've we've had so many overtimes already in this season that when it gets mixed up, you don't even get to take you don't get to credit discredit the quantity of mm-hmm. points or catches or targets or attempts or touchdowns like there's been so many overtime games, you just look at the fantasy points and you don't even thinking about who did what, who got extra time Mm -hmm. and QT was getting targeted a lot. That game when Will Fuller was out, Will Fuller's had trouble staying healthy in the past. But then last week you saw the targets go from like 15 to what? Six or something like that. Uh, seven, seven for QT. Yeah, because he's week. got twenty-two. To, that's what it is. I saw he's got some people are like, oh, well, he's got twenty-two targets over his first two games. Like, yeah, but fifteen targets and seven targets are two different numbers. They're very far away from yeah, each other. Yeah, but still only three for Fuller in a full in a full game. Right. No, I'm, I I gotta get I gotta get through QT to get to Fuller because you can't be you can't expect you can't look at one game and be like, oh my god, fifteen targets and then picture kiki qt and not be excited about it right. because it is exciting for his seat you see a guy's first game go 10 for 100 that's awesome but you can't discredit the two major factors that go along with that were overtime and yeah, i can i agree and will that. fuller goes out so week the second week of kiki qt's nfl career much less targets but then also, Will Fuller's in the game. Whether he's 100% healthy or not, we don't know because he went out the week before, but he's back and he's playing and only gets a couple targets. So there's two things to be worried about for Will Fuller here. His health, and yes, QT gives... Um, well, his health has been... Not the best. Right. But when he's in there, he's been one of the best receivers when it comes, when it comes to making fantasy points. Right, and, and I think that's where... if becomes a sticky situation because you could say well he played extra time without will fuller and got the 15 targets but to but there's there's still however you want to really dice it up there's still a deduction in yes will fuller's it's, fantasy it's outlook. a quality option for the quarterback and anytime you have those it it limits other people's ceilings right and even you saw when will fuller was crushing and taking you know big plays to the house like even it it didn't limit anybody else's seal. It, it didn't limit DeAndre Hopkins, but there was nothing else to go around for anybody else. And so now you see, I mean, Hopkins crushed it last week because he's, De- he's, he's DeAndre Hopkins. Mm-hmm. But even Ryan Griffin's out there catching balls. He doesn't look fantastic, but he's, he's sucking up everything that gets near him. So I I am a little bit worried about Will Fuller. It's not all, but it's not only because of QT, but QT is a major factor because he does look good. He is getting open and he plays a different position at Will Fuller. And Mm -hmm. it's just far as both both will move into the, in and out of the slot. Some, but QT's a little bit more natural at it because Kiki's. And I I mean, Hopkins will move into the slot sometimes too. He should, they should, they They do. I'm 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 there. I had all the the slot splits in front of me, but I closed the window and I feel like, (laughs) <laughs> I'm I'm very pro best wide receiver on the field move around like yeah. that. When I back in I hadn't played Madden in the last couple of years, but my, I would always have my best guy in the slot because I can go right, left, or straight instead of being bound by that boundary on one side right. of him. You know, so I, I would I, I'm big on that, and I'm in. But like it's just a little bit because Fuller's a little bit more rangy. He's a little less slotty right. and cutie. And you and know so, that Fuller yes, can that still does. make your play and make sure. your day in one play. Absolutely. But it just becomes a lot less fun when there's not, you know, more like six or seven targets for Fuller. When it goes down to three or four, it's harder. It makes a whole, it makes it a whole lot harder for Fuller to do what he's doing. Uh, you know, obviously there's more pieces to worry about on the field, but to get the looks of just taking that, Hey, and the, and a big thing right now is, Hey, are we going to continue to let Deshaun Watson take all these shots because our offensive line isn't any good, and it's a Sean lot of Watson? or 
Yeah. Oh, we're yeah, going to yeah, continue yeah, yeah. to let Deshaun Watson take all these shots, i.e. longer developing plays and him having to, to move Will around Fuller. to get Will Fuller when Kiki Cutie could be sucking up that single coverage on a linebacker and eating up a, a quick target from Deshaun. So every game he's not... Get, picking himself off the turf, getting checked out with a damn stethoscope yeah. on the sideline. <laughs> I, saw, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's definitely, that's a lot. They're trying to check out those lungs when you're, when right. you get the stethoscope. Well, he had a rib injury and now they think he might've re-injured their injury. Um, Deshaun's going to do what Deshaun does. You, you can't limit him too, too much in the mobile. Uh, I will disagree with some people saying like, you got to, li- you do have to limit his shots and he needs to be a little smarter, but that's what makes Deshaun Watson, Deshaun Watson. And as soon as you take that away from him, You've eliminated, and if you want to take it away from him, give him a better offensive line. Y'all idiots let Dwayne Brown roll out last yeah. season and wouldn't pay him. No like, doubt. I mean, I, I have a little bit of a problem with your franchise quarterback inside the five over and over and over trying to line up with safeties and linebackers. Like you're good. Uh, like Bill O'Brien's supposed to be a good offensive mind. If you can't draw up plays to at least keep that your your franchise quarterback from getting shot at. I mean, once or twice is okay, but yeah. like repeatedly. And and pl- and after you see after you drag him off the turf a couple times and check him with a t- stethoscope, don't right. call it again. Right, give him a week. Right, you know, like don't call it again. So just some quick numbers, uh, we'll, and we'll talk about QD, QT, and uh, Will Fuller's uh, prices and maybe what you would sell him or buy him for. On the target percentage with two games, uh, with QD in there for two games, obviously he played in the overtime and played. Uh, didn't didn't play and then QT played in the overtime. Uh, he sucked Fuller's target percentage from sixteen one or from twenty two two to sixteen one. And when you look at the team target percentage, Nukes at a twenty four percent target percent, Kiki's at a twenty two point seven target percent, and Fuller's dropped down to the sixteen point one target percentage. And then when you just give it the raw numbers, it's seven targets last week um, for QT, three for Fuller, fifteen for QT. Obviously, Fuller not playing the whole game and the overtime, and then five for Fuller. Yeah. Um, so it's just it is a it is a little worrisome. I know you missed those games, but QT still went in there and then got those targets. Um, and Will Fuller isn't a stranger to missing games. Now QT hasn't been started his career off healthy. And now, you know, all three of those dudes are limited this week. Right. All ready to start practice. He, QT's already, I think he was missing games for a hamstring to start the season. I guess. Would you, are you in, are you exploring any options to sell Will Fuller? Should you be exploring any options to sell Will Fuller? Or do you think it's like people realizing that maybe you're panicking because QT came back and they're not going to give you as much as Will Fuller's worth, even though Will Fuller's been solid every time he's been in the game so far. And I mean, a touchdown has saved you on one of those days for the most part. Yeah. I mean, Uh, I think. Uh, I think Start trying with Fuller first, I guess. I think trying to sell Will Fuller after a two for fifteen game is foolish. Right. I mean, obviously, you might have the guy. The, the if there's a you know, you, there's a one guy in almost every league that loves somebody more than everybody else. And if there's a Will Fuller guy that just thinks he's getting one over on you to even just be able to get him from you, then I, I if you can sell him for what you were getting from him when he had a touchdown three straight weeks to start the season, mm-hmm. then I don't mind selling Will Fuller for. I mean, we, we were talking about him as a six-round startup pick in the off season, you know, just trying to find better guy like Will Fuller and his obvious connection with Watson was like he taking that DJ. Obviously, D- Deshaun Jackson is the way he and he started the season with Fitzmagic mm-hmm. doesn't make this argument for me right now. But Will Fuller's connection with Watson was taking Will Fuller from that DJX boom bus receiver to boom and almost boom. You know what I mean? Boom, like it, and, boom and safe. Boom and Yes, exactly. He moved out of boom and bust to boom. And if it's not a boom, it's still a touchdown and you're all right. Instead of one, right. you know, that is so... I don't think I would be trying to sell Will Fuller off a two and one, two catches sure. for 15 yards. That's foolish. Obviously, he has an injury. He's QT. If, if Kiki comes in and establishes him, his, himself, like there's still no chance that Will Fuller doesn't have a big game in the near future. Mm-hmm. And it might take two more weeks to get there, but Will Fuller's got a, he's got a five for 102 touchdown game coming mm-hmm. up. Like, it, yeah. you know, so just if you want to sell him and Kiki, Kiki scares you. Scared of Kiki. If Kiki scares you enough to want to sell Fuller, 
then I don't mind you selling Fuller, but no, definitely not in the next seven days. Yeah. You know what I mean? I agree 100% with, with all that, so I, I won't really go repeating any of that. I'm, I'm not necessarily in camp really too nervous about Fuller. He still has the speed that the way I've always equated it to is if everyone in the stadium knows that you're getting the ball and you're going to run that fly and they still can't cover you, I mean, I want that guy. Yeah, he's and he, too fast. Right, and, and that's how it was at Notre Dame. When he was out there now, the hands had been in question a little bit because he would, but he had seemingly kind of maybe gotten over that a little bit. And now it was like that in the pros now. Like even in like, you know, oh, well, he's going to the pros. Maybe they can, but no, they still couldn't. So yeah. I'm not necessarily worried about that down there. And I think the Texans will eventually turn into one of those offenses that does average closer to the 30 points a game because you do have nuke you do have kiki you do have deshaun watson most importantly if you could get a little right. bit of a running game in an offensive line i think this team could easily be averaging one of the hot most highest octane uh teams in the league so there's i don't I'm not bailing out on nuke by any means but if Will you fuller. do or fuller by any means but if you did want to you you gotta wait till he has another big game